okay sorry for not uh posting guys i uh, apologize a lot um i don't know i just haven't been in the mood to be able to post fortnite or anything so basically in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys why you guys are not run w running 144 fps which basically it depends on the hertz of your monitor and what hdmi type of cable you have this is very confusing it is hard to explain so bear with me if i get anything wrong or mess up i'm gonna try my best trying to explain this so basically <clears throat> you need a pc to be able to run like uh over like i meant to be able to run a lot of fps so like consoles and stuff will only run 60 fps right now until the new consoles come out so basically i'm going to be showing you guys how to run 144 fps or like 240 fps so basically first you're going to need a 144 uh hertz monitor or a 240 hertz monitor so if you have a 60 hertz monitor and say you're running uh and say you're running like 200 fps it doesn't matter you're still going to be running 600 fps so i have two 144 hertz monitors right and right now i'm technically only run running 144 fps so if we go into let's just say we'll just go into a let me find the bhe stuff there it is okay so yeah like i said so if you have a 144 hertz monitor the max you can cap at is 144 fps so hertz and fps are take basically the exact same thing if you don't have a 144 hertz monitor then you are not going to be running 144 fps but if you do have a 244 hertz 240 hertz monitor then you can run 240 fps depending on what type of graphics card you have so you're always going to need a good graphics card to be able to run like anything so i have a 1060 which is not good it is very bad and i probably run a, right about 100 fps average something like that so I'm gonna show you guys real quick so remember I can cap at 144 FPS because I have a 144 Hertz monitor and then also you're gonna need a certain cable to run it so this is 60 FPS so like if you look on a 60 FPS uh, I mean if you look on a 60 Hertz monitor and you try to change your FPS there's nothing different about it but look so here's 60 Hertz I'm at 60 Hertz and 60 FPS so this is this is really what it's like sorry if my keyboard is loud I apologize okay so that's 60 Hertz right I don't know why I keep on saying 60 Hertz but that's 60 FPS and 60 Hertz so it's kind of confusing but remember 60 Hertz and 60 FPS I mean FPS and Hertz are the exact same thing so if you don't have a certain amount of Hertz then you can't run that certain amount of FPS so now we'll change it to 144 FPS. See, look, you see how it's smoother? That's because my monitor can support 144 FPS, unlike other monitors. See how it's a lot smoother now? Like I say, so see, it's a lot smoother. Now, if we go here and try uh, let's say 165 FPS there is no difference or we'll go 240 look there is no difference you'll see it's the exact same as 144 Hertz or 144 FPS like there's nothing different about it okay I'm sorry I cannot build right now I apologize kind of bad but yeah see there is no difference so if you want to be running 144 hertz or 144 fps then let me teach you how to do it so basically since uh your monitor has 144 hertz that doesn't mean it's running it so you're going to need a certain cable because only normal hdmi cables which everybody most people don't like some people don't know this some people do know this but only normal hdmi cables can run um 60 FPS so if we go here let me go to this screen so basically to be able to check if you're running 144 Hertz which that makes you run 144 FPS it's the same thing as 240 FPS guys so the same thing I'm teaching you it will basically work on 244 F 
240 FPS. Just make sure you have a 144 hertz or a 240 hertz monitor. If you have a 60 hertz monitor, then don't watch this video. There's no point in you watching it. So all you're gonna want to do is right click on your mouse, and you'll see Nvidia control panel. You want to click on that. Okay. I'm sorry if this has been confusing. <laughs> it's very hard to say it. So you'll be on this screen, right? You want to go to display, then you're gonna want to click on change resolution. See how mine says display, uh, display port PC display. Yours, if you don't have something like this, you might have a DVI cable, which most DVI cables, a dual link DVI cable can run 144 hertz. But if yours says HDMI, then that is only gonna be allow you to run 144 hertz. So basically with the HDMI, you're most likely going to be on 1080p, 1920 times 1080 and see the max you can run is 60 hertz right here. So the reason why I'm showing you guys this video, because you're going to want a different HDMI cable so you can run with that 144 FPS or that 240 FPS, 144 hertz, 240 uh, hertz. So basically the hertz is what your monitor can display and then the FPS on your PC is what like your PC is displaying. So it's the exact same shit. I know it's confusing, but it's the exact same thing. So since I have this display port, uh, PC display, which I have two HDMI things on the back of my monitor and a DVI port, and same thing goes with my PC. I have like four things. So since I have a different cable, I click on. So you you're gonna want to go to PC, then go to 1920 times 80. If yours only says 60 hertz, that means you have a normal HDMI cable, or you have a different one, and the max you can run is uh. 60 hertz but you're gonna want to go and check all these to see if there's any 144 hertz or something like that so like mine i can run 144 hertz since i bought this so basically since say uh you only have 60 hertz so here is something for you guys for you to do so here let me just show you real quick that uh i'm right about this so we'll go how, how much hertz can a normal HDMI run. okay see look so standard speed HDMI cable rating uh, this means it will support formats at least up to 720p 60 Hertz or 1080p 30 Hertz so most likely you guys will have a 60 Hertz um, so but like say this means it supports formats up to here but like uh here here okay i'm sorry I, i'm messing this up but like here is your normal uh hdmi cable full bandwidth support is not required so many hdmi 1.4 monitors limited to 1080p 60 hertz over hd over hdmi so before you buy anything make sure what i just showed you if any of those resolutions can run 144 hertz and you don't need to buy anything I'm showing you to buy but like a normal HDMI cable on a monitor can only run 60 Hertz it also could depend what type of monitor you have but it says 1.4 monitors so I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix that problem so all you're gonna want to do is search up hold on let me go on a new Amazon I know this is kind of confusing bear with me because I try to show this to one of my subscribers uh, the other time it took me an hour to explain to him because this shit is so confusing so but basically this is one part of I mean this you can choose to have this one or another one but this is called a DVI uh, cable so make sure it, it says do dual, DVI dueling cable because DVI dueling cables can run 144 Hertz so if you check right here it says future Proof display configuration configuration at home in the office or comfort okay we can skip that but it says premium dual link DVI cable 144 hertz capable so that means it can run for run 144 hertz or 144 FPS if that's how you want to say it but if you but say you buy like a 240 hertz cable that means it can run 240 FPS but with this 144 hertz cable you can't run more than 144 hertz FPS on your game or something like that but say you want to say 240 hertz f 240 hertz cable so this i'm just showing you guys like the 144 hertz cables but 
these might be 244 240 hertz so if you have a 244 hertz 240 hertz monitor i don't know why i keep on saying 244 but if you have a 240 hertz monitor this is what you're gonna want to get like something like this 8k display port to display port 140 1.4 cable 10 feet you can choose your feet whatever you want to do but it says dp to dp cable cord with what 1,000, 1, 1,440. I honestly don't know how to say this shit. I'm just retarded, sorry. But it says 1080p, 240 hertz, 4K, 120 hertz. So you can, so this will be able to run you guys 240 hertz. Just make sure you have a 144, 144 hertz or a 240 hertz monitor. So, uh, if you want to run 240, 240 hertz, just search it up on Amazon or switch up on anything uh, a DVI cable I don't know if that will be able to run 240 Hertz all I know is it can run 144 Hertz so if you have a 144 Hertz monitor if you look on the back of your monitor you will see a DVI port where you can plug this into and the same on your PC or you can get something else like what I got so if I go search up on 144 Hertz cable okay so this is what I have so this is the exact one I have that I have plugged into my monitor and my PC it might not be the same as one for you but this is the exact one I bought as you can see right here it says this is play port 4k 8k cable backwards with DP uh, okay hold on let me first find the 144 Hertz because I know it's in here oh here it is it's on top combo 8 8k display port 1.4 cable six feet ultra hd display port 4k 144 hertz cable two millimeter support so this one for me did not plug into my normal hdmi port i have a second hdmi port that this can plug into so basically the way you can run 144 hertz or 240 uh hertz or 240 hertz which is 144 hertz and 240 fps basically if you look on the normal a normal hdmi cable it does not have these flat tips right a normal HDMI cable, if we search it up, normal HDMI cable. Like, if you look, right here, a normal H... So, this is like... This is not a normal HDMI cable. But, let's go to shopping. So, as you can see, normal HDMI cable is right here. I know this is kind of hard to see. But, let me go on here. So you can see it's not flat, right? It it looks like that. That's what a normal HDMI cable is, and it only can run 60 hertz. So if your tip of your HDMI cable looks like this, that means you're most likely only running 60 hertz. You're gonna need something like a flat tip like this to be able to run 144 hertz or 240 hertz. So this is a certain flat tip. I'm I know this goes into a different HDMI on the back of your monitor and the back of your PC, but if you don't, if that doesn't fit for you, then you're going to need a DVI cable, which I'm pretty sure every single monitor has a DVI cable. If it doesn't, then I don't know what to tell you, but if you guys don't trust this video, you can go search up another person's video, but you're going to e need, either need the con that combo one I showed you, or you can use any other one that can run 144 hertz, or you're going to need a dual Remember, DVI dual link cable, because DVI dual link cables, that's what can run for 144 hertz. So, can a DVI one forty four hertz to an output 1080 content 144 hertz? You will need a either either a dual link DVI or a Display Port. So, as you can see, I'm showing you guys what correct. So. You're going to either need that dual DVI link or the display port, which I have a display port in right now. So that can run 144 hertz. But like say you have a 240 hertz monitor and you want to be running that 240 FPS, you're going to need a different cable like I just showed you. You can look uh, that other one up, look it on Amazon and then plug it into the back of your monitor and PC. Um, you'll be, then you'll go down to one of these. You'll see 144 hertz. 144 hertz if you order that cable or 240 hertz cable that you ordered you'll be able to see it on it but you make sure to check all the resolutions here as you guys can see but like on fortnite like i just showed you guys way before let me just go back to my screen 
Okay. If this was confusing, I apologize. You guys can go look at another video. But basically what I am trying to say, if I messed this up before, if you don't have a 144 hertz monitor, then you won't be able to run uh, like 144 FPS or 240 FPS. So basically, if you have a normal HDMI or a 60 hertz monitor, then you're only running 60 FPS. There's so there's no point of putting your like uh, graphics card at like 180 FPS or 200 or something like that. There's really no point because you're still only running 60. So make sure you guys have a certain cable that can run that certain amount of FPS and hertz. And also you're gonna need that 144 hertz or 240 hertz monitor. So if this did, if this did help you, because I'm pretty sure most of you probably know this about by now that you need a certain cable, but I didn't know either. I didn't know because for like about uh, 20 days, I was running only 60 hertz until my friend told me. So usually that HDMI cable will come with a 144 hertz monitor or a 240 hertz monitor you bought. That certain HDMI cable should come with it, but if it didn't then you are going to need to buy a new one. So if this video did help you, I know this was kind of confusing. Again, I'm sorry I have to say this. This video did help you. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on no post notifications. I am very sorry for not uploading for right about a month because I was just bored of doing YouTube for a little bit, but I think I'm going to get back into it. So, yeah. Just remember, you need that cable to run 144 at uh, FPS or 240 FPS depending on what type of cable you get and also Hertz and FPS are the same thing just remember that even though it's different it's the exact same thing you can go look up anything I said on Safari make sure it is correct go watch another video uh, search up on Google Chrome anything to help you like that but uh, thank you for watching the video like subscribe turn on post notifications and I will see you guys later peace